item. Uh, this is a uh, power glider. It comes with a 200 watt uh, motor on here, so it uh, should be a plenty of power for this aircraft. Um, it has a nice folding top, so when you actually cut the power, the top do uh, fold in, so there's less drag when you're gliding around and catching thermals. Um, it has nice uh, oversized aileron controls, four function, four, four channel, and it comes with this 72 megahertz four channel transmitter, which is the stock transmitter. And this thing is pretty much very easy to assemble with no gluing necessary. Basically, you just pop on the wings, plug in the ailerons, and screw down the, um, this fin back here, the horizontal fin, and hook up the linkages, and you're good to go. And by the time you finish, the battery should finish charging. It comes with a 3S 1800 milliamp battery pack, which will provide plenty of flight time for this uh, glider. So let's bring it up and show you guys how this uh, glider performs. It's already plugged in. Let me pull out my antenna. All right, pre-flight check. Just want to give you guys a uh, quick demonstration first of the motor, how powerful this thing is. Let me spool it up. This is about half. This is full throttle. And basically, it has enough power just to climb out of my hands. So you guys know how powerful this setup is. Let me do it again for you guys to show you. And it's just pulling out of my hands, so it's a very powerful setup. So let me get a good drip on there and bring this baby up in the air. Give it a down trim. Half throttle. And go full throttle. Bring it high and get my trim set out. Just to give it a little bit of right trim. Right now I'm going at about less than quarter throttle. Let me bring it high, get out of the way of the runway. Right now I'm gonna go high and just cut the throttle. Alright, throttle's off. Just glide it around up there and it's kind of cloudy today, overcast, so there's no thermals to catch. It's just floating up there, coming down. Right now the motor's still off, so it's just gliding around. That's the whole point of having a power glider. You have a very powerful system to get up in the air, to get altitude. And you cut the motor when you're up there. And if, it's, if you're lucky you have some thermals, you can just stay up there for like over half an hour if you have thermals, or until the transmitter battery dies down. And the, as you guys can see, it's still floating up there. Let me just do a little bit of spirals down. Motor's still off. motor still off. Let me kick the motor back on. Do a little bit of slow flying for you guys. All right, let's go full power and see how fast this thing can climb. Vertical right here. It's pretty much a limited vertical. That was, I went up a few hundred feet within seconds, so this is a very powerful setup for this glider. Very, this is a very easy and relaxing plane to fly. I would say this is a very good candidate for a beginner's plane too just because of the larger wingspan and it's float to, uh, you know, it just floats up there and it's very easy to control. <clears throat> Alright, no bond to runway, let me bring it over there. Motor's off right now and just gliding around. So you guys know that this thing is not going to fall like a brick when you're in the air. And you just pretty much follow the center of gravity, the stock center of gravity according to the manual, which is about 50 millimeters from the leading edge. And you can just see it. I just need a little bit of aileron, just uh, a little bit of trimming on the aileron, because my ailerons are off a little bit. How you doing?
Oh yeah. That thing is fast. Get the motor on. Oh! <laughs> All right, let me go bring it back up. Go full power, bring it up. Very fast flying plane. Let's do a few oops. Woohoo! Let's come down. Motor's off right now. You can see this thing is pretty quick. And the wing does have a very long uh, thick carbon rod that goes in that goes that covers about half of the wing, more than half of the wing, so we try to do some loops for you guys and show you guys that the wing is not gonna snap. That's a very tight loop right there. You guys know the wing is not going to snap in flight. Let me try to break it for you guys to see if it does break. Loops, loops after loops in. The wing is not going to break. It's a very solid wing. Motor's off. Let's come gliding down. Very aerobatic too, you know. You, you can do some tight maneuvers with it. Some loops, maybe a few rolls. I haven't tried to roll yet, so I have no idea how it's going to roll. But motor's off right now. Just circling of circling around over here, down the field. Let's uh, do a climb out again. It's pretty much vertical right there. Kind of scoop down. Motor's off right here. There is no wind to bring it up, and you guys can see it's just not going to fall down like a brick. The plane's a little heavy, but it is a larger model, so with these uh, very large wing surfaces, it makes up for it. Right now, the motor's still off, and it's still gliding up there, guys. Get the motor on. Let's do a... Uh Let's go full power and climb up. That's full power right there. It's climbing up vertical, straight up vertical. And it's still going up vertical. Cut the power. And it's probably too far for the camera, so let me try to do a high spiral coming down. Right here. Not spiral, but just a dive. Fast dive. Thing is nice. Easy flying plane. Motor's still off, it's just kind of coming around. Try to fly it low. It's a little bit of rudder this time. As you can see, it's pretty maneuverable too. It just gets up there, you can fly it around fast if you guys want. Then again, it's a, it's a glider, so it's not meant to be flown fast, but the power system that comes with this glider, is just, it's a lot of power for this glider. It's like overkill. Motor's off, it's coming gliding down. It's about quarter throttle. Let's go back up again. Straight dive, pull out, no power.
let's bring this baby down and see how easy it is to land. And remember too, it's a glider, so it doesn't want to float a little bit, like right there. Oh, a little rough, but it's grass, so that's the whole point, <laughs> flying over grass. There you go, guys, you just saw the flight footage of this new Sonic 185 by Dynam, and man, this thing flies very nice, very easy plane to fly. Let me show you guys too, the battery compartment inside, so if you guys want to fit a larger battery, here it is, this is where the stock battery fits, this is the 1800 3S milliamp battery pack, and basically you just, it fits right down here, if you want to use Velcro you could, or you guys can just pop it in because when you're gliding around, you got to, you don't really do like aerobatic moves, so the battery shouldn't come flying out in the first place, but this is a uh, ESC right here, 25 amp ESC, battery fits right on top, and they have some uh, little cooling hose up front right here, so that's very neat. Keeps the motor nice and cool when you're flying. And the motor, you can see, just right down here, not even hot at all. It's barely warm, very efficient uh, setup. About 200 watts, I believe, on the motor, according to the specs. And here's a nice little uh, mock carbon fiber uh, canopy right here, the windshield. And if you guys want for extra cooling, you can even cut this uh, part right here inside out, and that will provide extra cooling right here. But uh, it's not cut out yet, but if you guys want to cut it out, if you guys want to use a you know smaller battery, bigger battery, help keep things cool, you guys can easily cut this out. The receiver fits right up in here, and you have uh, four servos all the way around, one for each side of the aileron, one for the elevator, and one for the rudder. And you guys can see these, you know, this plane is not lacking any performance at all. Very great flying plane, and it's very affordable too. So remember to check it out on Nitro Planes on the website, the Sonic 185 by Dynam. And also, guys, stay tuned for the next uh, flight footage of the Sonic 185 where we're going to mount a GoPro on this aircraft and show you guys uh, how this plane handles with the extra weight 